There are many other things in terms of remaining firm at times of trials and tribulations and one of them is returning to the scholars because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that when it comes to them a matter of public safety and security The munafiqeen when they have matters of real trials and tribulations and they're shook, you know, things that really affect everyone like what's going on in Syria and Burma and, and you know, around the world and things that affect everybody, matters of public interest. They spread it around and they give their opinion. You, and we think we should do this, the Muslim should do this, you should criticize this guy, why does this Muslim guy not do this, why does this ruler not do this? And they start spreading it around. And what does Allah say? If they returned it back to Allah's Messenger or Allah's Messenger and those who had knowledge amongst them. Those Ulul Amri Minhum, those people of knowledge, those ulama amongst them, then the people of knowledge would be able to extract the right ruling from it. So sticking to the major scholars, you know, sticking to the major, not sticking necessarily to, you know, the, the Tullab al Ilm, Jazahumullahu Khairan, who, who give the talks and who benefit the people, but the major scholars. At times of fitan and trials and tribulations, when the Muslims are fighting each other, when big problems are happening in the world, we go back to the major scholars. And that is why it's so terrible those people who accuse the major scholars of you know, not knowing the situation or they accuse them of, not, uh, of concealing the truth. If they conceal the truth, then after Allah, who do we have left to tell us the truth? SubhanAllah. We go back to the major scholars. Those who are the likes of, you know, for the, likes of the major mashayikh in Saudi, the likes of our Sheikh Abdul Muhsin. Al-Abbad, Hafizahullah and, and the other mashayikh in Medina who are known for remaining firm. And if you look at the fitan that happened between the brothers in terms of, which is still going on, in terms of brothers accusing other brothers and tabdi'ah and accusing this person of being from the people of bid'ah and accusing that person of being from the people of bid'ah. And if you look at our Shaykh Abdul Muhsin, Hafizahullah, the Shaykh himself was accused how many times when he brought out his book, Rifqan Ahl Sunnah Bi Ahl Sunnah, that that, that the mercy of Ahl Sunnah between themselves. He was accused and he was accused and, he, and the Shaykh never changed his opinion alhamd. From beginning until the end, he remained firm at a time of trials and tribulations that were happening amongst the Muslims and Alhamdulillah he has remained firm upon that. And that's a sign of someone who is upon the Sunnah. They don't change, they, don't, they have the same, the same thing he was teaching back 20 years ago he's teaching now. And this is why we go back to the major scholars at times of trials and tribulations. And that's why we don't suffice ourselves with what Abu Fulan and Abu Fulan and you know, the people, the student Tullab al-Ilm are saying amongst each other. Because the Tullab al-Ilm are just that, we are students. We have learnt a little bit and what we don't know is far more than what we do know. But we go back to the major scholars at times of trials and tribulations and we seek the help of Allah and then their help to guide us through the troubles and the trials and tribulations that we suffer. And this is just a few points that come to mind and Allah is the general's best.